NBA rookie has an interesting answer to a rather morbid question. Can have the details in your sports report. Here's Simmons. Drives on a reason. Goes down the lane and finishes. Scott. Ooh, that was nasty. Spurs and Rockets, Game 6, Western Conference Semifinals, and so much for having home court advantage as the Spurs rout the Rockets in Houston. 114 to 75. Rockets All Star and League MVP candidate James Harden, to put it lightly, was absolutely horrible on the court. He knows it, and he took responsibility. Everything falls on my shoulder. I take responsibility for it. Um, for both ends of the floor, and you know, it's tough, uh, especially the way we lost at home uh, for game six. But it happened. Uh, now we move forward. All right, so the Rockets are out. So you know what that means, don't you? You wanted it, you got it. Warriors and Spurs, the matchup everyone was dreaming about. Game one, Sunday, a trip to the NBA Finals is on the line. All right, you know, plenty of prospective NBA rookies like former Kansas Jayhawk guard Frank Mason III are going through the process of the NBA combine. That includes measuring vertical leap and other physical attributes, but for some reason it also includes weird questions. Like this one. They asked him, How do you want to die? Here's Mason's response. I want to know the craziest question that you were asked in any of the interviews so far from the teams. The craziest question was probably, uh, you know, uh, if I were to die, you know, which way would I want to go out? That was crazy. And what did you say? I said, uh, Am I sleep? Because I wouldn't want to, you know, suffer from any pain or anything. So I'd just rather be sleep around my son and my family. Good answer. Good grief. How does that help you figure out if you want to draft the guy? All right, let's go to baseball. That one might stay fair, and that one is gone. More than a there goes the no -hitter. month into the uh, baseball season. We're still waiting for our first no-hitter. We almost got one last night from Zach Greinke of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Until Gregory Polanco goes yard for his first home run of the season in the eighth inning to break up the no-hitter. D-back still won that game, two to one. Hey, look out, everybody. Hey, hey, Scooter's got this one. Let's go Giants and Reds. Scooter Jeanette, the Red second baseman. Scooter's got this one. Get out of the way. Scooter's... Scooter doesn't have that one, everybody. That's a Brandon Crawford pop fly. Scooter didn't get it. Brandon Crawford got a double on that. Reds still win that game, three to two. Hey, take a look at this. The thin air in Colorado Springs providing perfect conditions for the River Cats to explode for 13 runs in one inning. Setting a franchise record for runs in one inning, sending 17 men to the plate in the seventh inning, and they came just three runs short of the old Pacific Coast League record set in 1923 by Salt Lake City. By the way, Rivercats win that game, final score like a football game, 17 to 7. All right, in the world of the NFL, words coming out that say three teams have contacted Colin Kaepernick to play quarterback for their team. But the controversy still stands as quite a few anonymous NFL GMs have said they refuse to sign Kaepernick because of his social activism last season. It's still an issue. Well, you know that's got me thinking. At this time, Colin Kaepernick, just leave. Just retire from the NFL. If they're going to provide all of this, these issues for you to play football again, leave, walk away, and focus on your social activism. It's not about quitting. It's about being entirely focused on that. Your profile with the NFL will never be higher than it is now. Being a backup quarterback will only be a distraction for some teams. You can go out and do so much more good out of the NFL than you can within the league. Just forget about it, Colin. Go on with your next chapter in life and be much bigger in that arena than you are in the NFL. That's my take on it. Find out more about what I think on the radio. We're doing three hours of sports on uh, Sports 1140 KHTK, a little show we do called The Lowdown. Lowdown. Lowdown's off from 12 to 3 o'clock with me, Damian Barley, and Jason Ross. Good day continues after this.